This is Motor Merc to Mission Control, initiating pre-flight check and requesting departure clearance. Jazzer 1, I'm sorry, sir, request the kill. Five golf mic, uh, actually, I'm in altitude, descend to maintain 1-1000. One, Cleared for takeoff. Army 72010, Welcome to Motor Merc vs. Space Pod dual vlog in sunny Southern California. We're in Santa Clarita, just north of Los Angeles, heading up Bouquet Canyon Road. This is my first bike swap ever, believe it or not. I'm set here on Space Pod's beautiful modified Ninja 300. ZX3R, and uh, I'm gonna just uh, do a little review of it as we go along, I guess. Uh, presumably, Space Pod's doing the same on my 650 up ahead. It feels really good, man. It's so comfortable. So anyway, first impressions, just uh, sitting on the bike. Uh, I gotta say, I'm, I'm quite uh, impressed. Is that the right word? I'm surprised how big it feels. It doesn't feel like a small bike. Uh, I have a 250 at home, one of the older uh, 2006 Ninja 250, and sitting on that thing it feels like a toy. Like, it really feels like a toy. It's like, it's a good bike, but it really feels tiny. This bike, the 300, feels like a proper bike. And uh, what's more, what surprises me about the stance, the seating position, is how aggressive it is, and I'm not sure if that has anything to do with modifications that Mr. Space Pod has done to it, or not. But I feel like uh, I'm, I'm pretty well leaned forward on it. It's got a, a relatively aggressive sport bike stance. It doesn't follow the other, uh, like my 650 has a very upright, very standard seating position. The Ninja 300's got a much more, well, this one at least, has got a much more aggressive stance. Don't kill me, thank you. It's definitely improvement over the 250. At least all the, you know, my year of 250. I'm already feeling great on this bike. I love it. Everything about this bike is an improvement over my 250. I haven't ridden one of the uh, intermediate 250s, like the, the the newer generation 250s, but compared to how many more gears do I have? There we go. <laughs> Compared to my 250, this bike is a vast improvement. Everything feels sharp, it feels polished. The suspension's a little softer than on my 650, but uh, the controls are just uh, a lot sharper. My bike feels floppy, and I'm sure a little bit of that has to do with age, but the throttle response on this bike is crisp, the brakes are sharp, everything just feels quite responsive. And, uh, you know, again, Keep in mind, this is my first bike swap, so I haven't ridden a whole lot of other bikes, but uh, compared to the 250, this is a, a vastly superior bike. Compared to the 650, I'd say it's actually, again, in my limited experience, fairly comparable. It's just the seating position's a little bit aggressive for me. I'm not used to being leaned over this far. And I, I'll, I'll chime back in again on this later in the trip, but, uh, so far, I'm okay with it. It's not terribly uncomfortable to be leaned over like this. But then again, a lot of my rides are like an hour, hour and a half, two hour rides back and forth from LA to Orange County. So we'll have to see. Oh, it feels really good though. Actually, I think I like these controls better than on the 650. And this quick shifter is like magic. It's like butter. It's crazy. It's a really weird feeling actually to shift without using the uh, without having to let off the throttle or use the clutch. It feels really good though, it's so smooth. Actually what I'd compare it to is, uh, uh, you know how you can uh, upshift without using the clutch? You just have to come off throttle a little bit and then you can just make your shift uh, on, a, on a standard motorcycle, like a stock motorcycle. You can just, kind of, you can do a clutchless shift, uh, but it's kind of clunky. That's how the, uh, I'm gonna make a comparison to a car technology here, the old, uh, the old semi-automatic, the old manumatic BMWs, the M3s, they had that kind of feeling. But the newer ones, the dual sh the dual clutch transmissions are so smooth. Like when you sit in one of the new M3s and you do the uh, paddle shifting, it's so smooth. You barely even feel a shift between the gears. And that's exactly what it feels like shifting with this quick shifter. It's seamless. I like it a lot. I've got to admit that I was a little bit skeptical 
of the uh, merits of the 300. Uh, I didn't buy into the hype on uh, hearsay alone, but having ridden it now, I am very impressed. It's a, it feels like quite a capable little bike. I was ready for that truck to not know I was there, and I think I was right. Got to commit to that, buddy. I wish we had a little opportunity to do some slightly more aggressive riding than this. Getting stuck behind pickup trucks and sedans isn't fun on any kind of bike. I'm going at a pretty slow pace here. Oh, that's beautiful. Just the sound. This is a really good exhaust. SpacePod has the Yoshimura on this. I'm not exactly sure which model of Yoshimura is on it, but it's a Yoshimura pipe. And I like the sound a lot. It gives the 300 a, a very... That was nice. It gives the 300 a real rich tone. It sounds good. It's so torquey, I don't even need to change gears. It almost feels like a torqueier version of my bike, but like with the stock handlebars. Now, I do already like it better than the FZ6R that I rode. Feeling seems to be pretty good. Now, this bike with clip-ons would be pretty sexy. One thing I'm not too impressed with on the 300 is the juice. It feels not, and this is just my opinion, not having ridden the 250 in a little while. But uh, it doesn't feel that gutsy. You know, when I ring it out, it, I don't feel like a super huge... Like, I guess I wouldn't be comfortable riding this bike on the freeway. This bike, man, this is a great touring bike. So I guess if I were to say I had real complaints with this bike, uh, the first one that comes to mind, the first most noticeable one is the suspension. Uh, I like a softer suspension because I do a lot of commuting, but I think the balance on the, the damping, the, the spring damper, spring shock balance is it could be better i get a little bit of a bounce out of the suspension when i go over a bump in the road i get kind of like a whoop kind of a feel as opposed to like a soft kind of a pillowy absorption out of the shocks so that is a little bit unsettling at certain points it may just take some getting used to uh, the other thing is i'm not too impressed with uh, the, the power it has power uh, I guess I would be more comfortable with this bike on the freeway than I would with a 250, but uh, I mean, I guess considering it's a 300, uh, it's, it's good. It's just, I would much prefer my 650. I feel more comfortable with enough juice to get me out of certain, there's just certain situations on the highway, you know, where you, you, you need throttle to get you out of them, and I, I wouldn't feel confident that this bike would deliver in those situations. It feels good though, it's fun. It feels, it feels, it feels. It hits me in the feels. No, it puts a smile on my face, I like it. Part of that's probably the fact I haven't gone riding just to ride in, oh God, I don't even know, over a year. But part of it is that this bike just has a like something about it. The, the, the combination of size and stance give it a fun, loving kind of feel. Strangely enough, SpacePod keeps his mirrors at an angle that is just right for me, even though we are considerably different heights. And Motormark on the ZX3R. Look at all that inseam. I'm so jelly. He's got feet down with like a, a, a space pod sized leg to spare. <laughs> yeah, I definitely, uh, having ridden the bike for a few minutes now, I'm already starting to feel the stance. Uh, it could be that uh, the handlebars are at a, just a weird angle for me. It's not just the fact that I'm leaned over forward, it's kind of the angle that the handlebars are kind of, they're angled outward a little bit, so my wrist is kind of, it sits like this and it's tiring out my hand. It kind of hurts, there's pressure on it in a weird way. So I wonder if you can kind of like pull them in a little bit so that it gives you more of a, an angled 
grip because my hands are starting to hurt a little bit here but my back is not bothering me at all Oh, the brakes on this thing are pretty darn good, actually. It can surprise you. The very light touch ends up applying a lot of pressure. Okay, I'm gonna let him go ahead of me. Let's get a little closer look here at the space pod on the Motorbird Mobile. Oh, he wants me to go ahead. This is uh, Motor Merc on the ZX3R in 2013. We're past the part of the road where I know my way around, so it's going to be a little tougher for me to be confident in my maneuvers. He might lose me. I don't know. I just don't want to push too hard yet. think? Does he like it? What do you wager? I think he does like it. I'm betting. So I've pretty much run out of stuff to say about this bike at this point. Uh, I like it a lot. I give it an emphatic thumbs up. <laughs> I think we'll have a chat now. What do you think so far? I like it a lot. I'm impressed. Yeah? I think for this size bike, a bike in this uh, displacement range, Right. I've never ridden anything that's this competent. Uh, I, If I had any complaints, I'd say the suspension doesn't feel that balanced to me. I think there's a little bit of like maybe a spring shock imbalance because when I go over bumps, I get a little bit of kind of like a boing, boing kind of a feeling. Right. And of course, it, the power isn't there, but right, I mean, right. you can't really expect it. And compared to the old 250, because I've got an older 250, and compared to that, it's night and day. This bike night is and day, huh? Sup vastly superior. Yeah, I agree. Stopped for a little roadside chat. Going to continue on now. One thing I'm actually liking a lot about this bike, I'm liking more and more the, the more I ride it, the more I shift it, I should say is how smooth this shifting is. I don't get a lot of jerkiness out of it. It's very smooth. It's quite pleasant. It's comfortable compared to my bike. And I don't know, I'm, I'm real bad at chain adjustments. I don't really know how to do it quite right. So I'm not sure if it has to do with the chain being out of whack, but when I shift on my bike, I get a lot of kind of jerkiness out of it. And it's been like that with all of my bikes to a certain extent. But this bike is just so smooth when you let on and off of the clutch, it's just, it glides in and out of the you know, in and out of contact. I'm like embarrassingly slow here. Cause the sun's kind of in my eyes and I just don't like this road. It's so dirty and... There we go, a little bit of sand and gravel for you. Make sure you're awake. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Beautiful power lines, chain link fence. Nothing like a little industry to remind you who's really the boss of nature. I'm being facetious, of course.
neither of us is really much of a knee dragger. We kind of, uh, we, we old boys prefer to take it easy. I'd like to dedicate this beautiful view to Sunburst GL. I keep coming back to how smooth the controls are. I'm really, I'm really impressed. And he does, SpacePod has uh, custom aftermarket levers on here. And uh, I'm very pleased to see that he likes his levers set up the same way I do. My bike has adjustable levers too. And uh, we both like to have our levers adjusted in kind of close to the handlebar. So that's always nice. I don't understand why, I don't understand why dealerships always prefer to set bikes up with the handlebars or not the handlebars but the levers adjusted so far away from the the grip because it just makes them hard to reach especially when you're clutching and stuff and stop and go traffic your fingers are always stretched out like this trying to reach the lever it's not comfortable for anyone I've got huge hands I'm 6'4 these are big mitts man still a pain in the butt to reach for those levers so I like to have them adjusted a little bit closer space pod likes it too so hey that's great. So I don't know how much of the uh, comfort and control is due to these adjustable levers and how much is just uh, inherent in the bike and good parts, but it feels really nice, so nice. Uh, compared to my 250, those controls are just, they feel sloppy and loose. Like when you squeeze them, like something, nothing happens right away until you squeeze them enough, then they start applying pressure to the clutch or the brakes or what have you and the, the levers themselves just feel floppy too like they don't feel like they're mounted very solidly just you know it just doesn't feel that good it doesn't feel like good fit and finish but this bike just everything comes together so nicely it's, it's just I, I guess I won't say it's a masterpiece but it's definitely a, a, an excellent an excellent piece <laughs>